menagerie of weird and wonderful creatures. Here, the rule of scaly reptiles is a distant memory. The animals that dominate now are covered in feathers or fur. Mammals have adapted well to the new world and there is a staggering variety of them, but they are still small and, as before, live under the shadow of bigger, deadlier animals. This is a female Leptictidium. She is a meter long and a common sight in the forests of 50 million years ago. Her kind have survived virtually unchanged since the time of the dinosaurs. Life, though, is scarcely any easier now. This is still a perilous world where she must live fast and will probably die young. A typical mammal, she looks after her offspring until they are old enough to fend for themselves. But with so many predators about, Today is a bad day for her litter to leave the nest. She, however, has to feed, whatever the risk. She only has a short window of opportunity to do so, and that window is fading fast. The cool early morning is an ideal time to catch the frogs, lizards and insects she feeds on and are still sluggish. She, however, is warm-blooded and fast-moving 24 hours a day. This is one of the mammal's ancient advantages. Also, to help track down her prey, she has an incredibly acute sense of hearing and a distinctive, super-sensitive nose that can twitch to locate food among the leaf litter. And she is agile enough to catch even flying insects. but she instinctively knows he is dead. Today, the Leptictidium is the survivor, but ironically, the future holds a different outcome for these mammals. The Leptictidium and her kind are destined to become extinct when this hot, wet world gets cooler and drier and the world's forests start to disappear.